Okay, hi guys. I name I am International Master Win Lee, who just got a huge red from the one and only Hikaru. So now I'm doing some 10 minutes games. I mean like maybe one or two games, I don't know. But but the thing is that but the thing is that I want to, you know, having some fun and also like can explain things through other way. So when you see me play I can try to explain my thinking process and also you know like what can I do? In a position and I will try and give some questions along the game. Obviously, I will try to explain things and try to review the game after I finish. Sure? Well, I just want to invite like random players. I think we'll invite random players. One moment. Okay, keep sorry, sorry. My mom just calling. Just calling. Okay, sure. So, I mean, my mom's going to eat, but okay, I tell her that I need to. I need have the red from the one and only Hikaru, so we can stay for a long oh, while, wow. like maybe like thirty minutes, maybe. One moment. Okay, let's make it like this. Go. Okay, guys. So now I'm meeting the guy zero eight basis from US. So what do you want me to do? I mean like I can play like d4 I think d4 sure You want to see the queen's gambit or like normal e4 Let's just play d4 maybe It's not easy but okay I'll play d4 this game first Let's play d4 in this game I know for sure I'm playing I'm playing Play d4 and see what happens. There are plenty of stuff here you can do. Have you been to America earlier? Yes. Actually, I have been to Dallas, I think like five years ago. Been to Dallas five years ago to play the Dallas Open. Sadly, I like really close to get a GM norm there. But losing the final game, simply, you know, killing my chances. This guy is not playing. This guy is not playing. Oh my goodness me. I mean, I want to do something really, really nice, but he's not playing. Oh my goodness me. Okay, now he's playing. Now F6, beware Brandon in America. Well, Brandon, if you if you's here, if you're here so you can see that my viewers is telling me to like be careful of you. Okay, now F6. Let's play C4. E6. Okay, now, so now I think let's play Ninja Indian or like the Queen's Indian. Obviously, now there are two choices, but I think it's gonna be a good choice to play the Ninja Witch. And C3 is one of the things that is so famous to play, right? Let's go into Nice C3. You can also play this move and Fianchetto, which is called the Catalan as well. Basically, that are all playable. I can play both of these things. Okay, so Catalan, if you want to, let's see how things can be. For a long time, don't play Catalan. You can play both G3 and F3. It is just like move order. B6. Okay, so now it becomes the Queen's... Yes, I mean knife 3 here's C5. And the thing is that like G3, he got C5. That's the thing why I don't want to play like G3 first. So now 3 is a thing, but also here he can be 6. And now it is not called Catalan anymore, it is the Queen's Indian Defense. I wanna play G3. Which come into the main line of the Queen's Indian Defense. G2, A6. This is pretty rare. Normally, black just goes E7. So this move is so rare. A6. Castles. When you don't understand what your opponent is doing in the opening, just trying to follow the opening rules. You know, my simply like trying to castles, trying to like getting the center and trying to develop pieces to the best square available. Well, we should be this is another line. Okay, one moment. Let me change title first. 
rapid lessons. Like this. The thing here right now, you can go like queen c2, knight c3, and then e4. When you can get a center here, so it is, I think, quite basic that you can have a good position. c6. A very, very passive variation for black. He want to push d5 next, and also he want to close his diagonal and restrict his bishops. I just play normally, knight c3. I just play normally. Should be six. Yeah, this is very, very bad. The thing is that, I mean, this move have no ideas at all. I don't even know why this move is played here. So, guys, now how can you starting to get? How can you starting to occupy the center? How can you starting to occupy the center at this point? Let's go. As I mentioned, I will try and give questions along the game, trying to tell you my thinking process and also what you should do normally. You know, in these kind of positions, especially when opponent doesn't seems to do something good. I like queen c2 first. I mean, normally the idea to play queen c2 only is necessary if you cannot push e4. Queen c2 is the move with the ideas to control e4 squares. But now, since basically you can push that right away. And also you see this move. Not only you get a center, but also the main thing is that you can have a fork here as well. So like you know, this is the move to simply indicate how bad this portion is. Also also his king is still on the center. Which is the best of. So guys, one thing I wanna tell is that when his king is on the center like this and he's passive, one thing you can do is that you can go for the check right away. Let's go e5. Forcing his knight to run and to get back to passivity. Knight g8. It is so passive, right? Guys, how can we punish his passivity with a strong attack? How can we punish his passivity with a strong attack at this position? Let's go here. Let's go. Just go through, I mean like I think I'm winning right away so I'm not going to rush. Let's give you guys some time to think and to look at the portion first. And then I will show you why this is playable or something is not playable. Well this is quite, I think, instructive. Things like this. You can see his king is still on the center, right? His position is very passive. This knight actually is not even like developing. Also, like this bishop is so passive. When you see the opponent is not, I mean, like developing like this, and you're getting the development initiative, the thing you should always thinking about and trying to, you know, like considering is going for the fast attacking right away. Both group e1 and knight 4 is good, but it is slow and it allows black to get out his pieces, like knight 7 maybe. So now I'm gonna play d5. Not only we want to blow open the center, but the most important thing is that we got d6 next. And this d6 simply, you know, will kill this bishop and also prevent black from playing knight 7 as well. You understand? Knight 4 is a good move for sure, but this is much slower. I mean, like, you can even push the pawn here to d6. Also, you can do the letter if you want to. And the most important thing is that his king remain on the center. And you know, when you got this kind of initiative, attacking right away is a good thing to do. C5. <coughs> this is the Queen's Indian. And actually, the opponent is playing something quite uh, like a bit ridiculous. Instead of trying to develop normally, he plays some passive move and allow me to go for the attacking right away. CD5. You know, 95 here is simple for sure. Just look at 95. You think it's easy?
If I play in my normal games, I will play something different. But okay. But actually, I want to give something pretty basic. That's why I trying to play this move. Although I know 95 is not the best. 97. He got this move. Actually, by this one, he can try to trip pieces. And much thing not easy for me to do. Good move by my opponent. I mean, obviously, we need to give credit to the opponent when he's playing, like, fine move for sure. Okay, now, guys, I mean, I don't even know if this works. I don't know if this works. Maybe, I don't know. I want to play this move. Trying to play something really tricky. But okay, I guess that I just want to play something, okay, basic. Take the bishops. It seems to be quite dubious. Why take the bishops? When it seems bad. But the thing is that right now I will get a very strong bishop on this diagonal and you know you can imagine if the bishop can get to d6 it will getting so so bad for him Yes, I think knight f6 looks so fun I think knight f6 looks so fun for sure I will try to consider that move and trying to cover that after the game but you know I want to keep something basic that's why I simply try and play something that is most natural I don't want to you know try and play the move that is a bit tricky and also hard for you guys to understand. Sure? Bishop e3. This pin starting to be quite, you know, hard to black, hard for black to, you know, arrange his pieces. He's a very passive. And also, right now, you can see that we are fast in terms of the attack. Bishop here is gonna be so dominating. And also, his pieces always land in the bad troubles. Nice c6. Rook c1. Get the rook to the open file. Obviously, the rook, up, the rook belong to the open files, right? Also, now by this move, we simply f make a pin, and then we can take like here next. Queen d8. Get away the pin. A good move for sure. Okay, guys, just keep going through. Now, what we should do? I will play the move queen d6. You know, get the queen into strong squares. You know, get into this diagonal as well. Putting more pressures and also I want to bring the rook to d1 to attacking this bad pawn on d7. Knight 5 Okay, this is a bad move. This is a bad move. Since right now we can simply win in material. By what? Guys, how can white win material here? I mean, nice yet. Nice yet have the same idea. But now we win material. If you play nice yet, we simply, you know, treating that with the same move. Yes, queen of it. And this allows us to win material. He also even like removing, that makes sense that he understands the move. Take here. Can you have it? Okay, now rook b1. Let's make it easy. Bring the rook out, taking his pawn on d7 as well. Now we have plenty of moves here to play acting like even bishop h3 here looks pretty strong I don't think it's gonna be easy for him to hold these positions yes let's play bishop h3 but wait a second guys I got a funny move here guys king e7 is not a good move guys how can you win material here how can you win even more material here please see things that I mean like king e7 is not a good move since it prevents the way from something to to come back. I mean, right now there's something is not standing in a good square, and you can try to win that. Which is the move? Simply here, black forgets that the move king seven even block the only square available for the. Pits for the knight f5. Bishop 3 is a good as well, but black can play g6. And it's not, you know, like if you take here, it is like, you know, a piece trade. Piece is changed, and nothing is going to be so devastating. But now g4, simple. This knight is simply trapped. Got no way to run, and when I'm playing this, we're simply up a whole rook in the position. Sure? Also, feel free to ask me questions after the game. If you get questions, you can try to spend that, and we can go through that after 
the game for sure. Knight 3, we can take that with f pawn here. I mean, like, simply the knight is completely busted. Completely busted. And I'll upper 3 rooks. So now, simply, I mean, quite easy and basic. I can say conversion. Well, I mean, like, I'm only a bad 1800 players, for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my mom just calling again. But okay, here, I'm back here. So, I will stay here for, like, I think 30 minutes, maybe. Or maybe, like, maybe one or two more games. And then I will come, yeah, I will try to play some... I mean, like, okay, eating some... Okay, banana. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not handsome. I mean, obviously, I'm not handsome for sure. I think would think my friend said that I'm a bit innocent, so don't try and trick me. It's not, it's not working. I'm gonna take the pawn here. I mean, normally the pawn should head toward the center, right? Obviously, FG3 is also winning, but normally the thing you should remember is that the pawn should head toward to the center. G5. So now basically we are winning. So a very normal technique when you try to play, I mean when your up material is that you simply want trade pieces and liquid it into a winning end game. 94. Trading everything and now this of simply over. Yes, I got banana here. I will eat that after the game. This one here. You can see that simply, my pieces simply crushed through, right? I mean, like, simply he didn't resign. Well, GG. And I'm sorry, GG. <coughs> okay, let's go back to the game again and give you some explanation. Not like this maybe, not like this, maybe I'll try and do this one maybe. No? Here we are. Here we are. I'm gonna be slow to give you some understanding like understand yes, understanding of the game. Let's go. D4 knife 6. C4 E6. So in this game I play knife 3. If you guys really want to play the Catalan and you are fine with the Benoni setup, you can play G3 for sure. But the thing is that I don't really like C5 here. And this is actually, this is also a very well known position, so you can say that. Like, you know, it's one of the main lines when you can go for something like knight 3 CD4, knight 4 here, and then like something like Queen here, something like this one, I forget. Or something like even D5 here as well. So I'm not a fan of this move. That's why I play knight 3 first. Now C5, I can meet that with D5 and we get a number Benoni. And also, we can play even play like, you know, like C3 as well. But to K, G3, like, F3, in the game, we play B6. And obviously, if you play D5, I can play the Catalan. But I will try and talk about that later. Do people that you play get the rating refunded? Oh, good question again. I mean, actually, somehow I still forget to reach the chest account admin to give back the rating points. Maybe I should do that. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, like, I think that, like, it's a good chance for them to, like, play this again. Like, play this again, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I should do that. I mean, in this account, so I don't even plan to win ratings or something like that. So it's just, it's just fine for me. It's just fine for me.
Thank you for that. Okay, get back to the game here. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so G3. I'm playing the Queen's Indian defense. This is quite a famous one for sure. The QID. Let's go back here. No worry, I mean, I will go after this game. I will go for some breakfast, maybe. Or maybe some shooting stuff. I guess I can't even skip breakfast, I can say that. But okay. G3. So now, you know, there are two main lines here for black. You can play this one and this one. Which will simply lead into two different variations. Two different variation. You can also play this one as well. This one is like the Bogolibo variation. In the game, black play this move. Which is known to be quite solid, comparing to other positions. To G2. A6. There is starting to be something wrong. I don't know, but I think basically black doesn't know the theory. Here the main move is the main move in this position is bishop e7. And the lies continue with the castles, castles, and knight c3, knight e4. Let's move. So now queen c2 can be played, bishop e2 can be played as well. But there are plenty of stuff. Thank you guys, and yeah, nice to meet you for sure, Mark. I mean, like, feel free to ask me some questions, and hopefully you enjoy this thing. I'm trying to make this one, like, quite, you know, instructive. And, yes, like, it was fun for you guys. You know, as I mentioned earlier, so, what I always want to do is that I want to build a strong community, trying to spread chess and spread my love to the world. Also, yeah, like, enjoying together. Sure. This is normally some nice 3 nice 4 queen c2 here is fine. And this one. Up here is a nice 3 it's a main move here. Also, right now, like, you can do like f5 as well. But normally, this is the main move, nice 3 And this is like bishop e4 here as well. Which is a main line in this queen's Indian defense. You can also play like bishop e2 here as well. And then like d6. And then queen c2, this thing. Which is also pretty. I think equal, I can say that. In the game, A6. Very, very slow move. Basically, I don't plan to play this move. So, this is, I mean, a bit waste of time. Waste of tempo. Castles, C6. Once again, I don't understand why with this move. The thing I can say is that, I mean, what is this move doing here? D5. If I mean he can play D5 without need to block the bishops. So essentially, once again, the tempo, nice c3, as I mentioned in the game, so when you see your opponent play something not easy to understand, so you can simply do that. Do you like to ever fianchetto the dust crab bishop in this opening? You mean on this one? Or this one? Well, in this line, so there are something like b3, which b2 for white. For black, so if he played like this move, he won't play six. But there are two choices. Like B3 here, yes it is. This is one of the things that white normally play, normally play in the Catalan for sure. You can play like B3, which should be 2, and then Queen C2, E4. Which is normally what white would do in the Catalan variation. Also, you know, like T6. This is, this is the main variation in the which is variation but in the game. Obviously, black mess up things completely. Bishop e3, bishop e6. I think the main line is like b3, sorry, it's a mouse lips. <laughs> b3, bishop b4, like this move. Bishop e2, and then bishop e7 here, and then bishop e2, c6. And this is the main plan. The main variation here to block these bishops. But okay, in the game, obviously, black there are no theory. c6. Nice c3. So now, bad or not? Need to play d5. One thing I can tell you in the, you know, in this slide is that black just cannot let white to fully occupy the center. So d5 basically is a must right now. But now the not good thing for him is that right now white can play knight d2, which is a very normal plan with the idea to simply e4 next and getting the whole center in his hand, right? So d5 is a must. D5 is simply a must in this position. 
in a game he doesn't play that, he plays something different, which would be 6. Which actually is damn hard to explain. I mean, like, why not this move? Obviously, this square is not something so good for your bishops, since this diagonal is like fully blocked, right? So now e4, a very normal move. Get in the center, and also e5 is a plan. Ready. Nice jet. No, sorry, e7, e5. Nice jet, and d5. A very strong one. Honestly, you can also try and play this move as well. This is also a good move. You can try to do. With the idea that if you play this move, you can play like you know 96. This move here as well, or like you know playing something slower. And this one maybe is something pretty annoying as well. I think so. I guess. Like this. But okay, in the game I push d5, and my idea is trying to open up everything right away. Takes, takes, takes. Knight d5. I know this is not a good move. I think you should do something like knight d4 or e1 here actually. In the game, play different. Knight d5. A7. The thing I can tell here is that, I mean, in the game I play this one, knight c7, which actually should be the best move. Practically. Along the game, I see someone asking me about this move. Perhaps it's. It looks damn cool, I mean, looks so cool. But the thing is that like, you need to grip the compensation, which is not easy. Like you know, they can text the knight here, text, and knight g6, not this move. G here, and king of it. Obviously, like, we have some initiatives, since the black pieces is really, really bad. But how can we continue here? How can we continue here in this position? Our pieces is still not like fully developed yet. And the king is not easy to reach it, right? I I am a real title, yes. But the sad thing is that the AGM, which is the Arena GM, you can play and you can get a title from Friday, I think. The AGM actually is still smaller than FM. I'm so silly and need to inform that. AGM is even smaller than an FM. I'm sorry. Nice for us a good move here, actually. Since right now you got these ideas, which looks pretty cool. But you know, this is very, very complex. So I don't want to let you guys into this kind of variation. That's why I simply take the bishops here. Text and B3. Although it seems to be that I, you know, trading the strong knight for the bad bishops, but I get this one is very strong here. This diagonal is good, and this pawn will retain a witnesses forever. Right? You understand? Castles. We should be 3. And this is simply so hard to defend for him. Nice six. Rook c1. I just play own things quite normal. I don't want to play something hard. Yes, I mean like, you know, this move is no, not so bad, I think. Like in a classical game or in something high level, you can see this move. Seems like there can be some good attacking follow up. But I mean like, I just want to show you to play some normal things. So I think we can skip the things for sure. So in the game here, I'm simply, you know, like playing slowly. Should we three? Yes. Group C1. Get my pieces out. Queen D8. And then queen d6. I think good move here. As you see that in the game, I want to put more pressure to this diagonal. Also, I want the rook d1 here as well. Well, I mean, like, it is like an online title, but the thing is that, I mean, it is something you can, I mean, like, I see in some of the events in Malaysia, in my, uh, in my area that there are some players that got the AGM you know, got the AGM in front of his name and obviously a title is a title for sure so I think that is worth a try you need to play, I think you get to the FIDE Arena you can try to like googling that, like FIDE Arena and then there are some, you know 
you went there and you can get the Aruna GM in the site. And that is the title that Frida approved. I'm pretty sure. So in the game, you play in F5, which is a bad move. Yeah, but you know, if you play this move, I played the Ruby 1 here. And you see like how bad can Black be right now? His position is so passive. And then you can see I got a strong bishop pair here. My rook is staying on the file that's really decent. And you know, we are simply you know better here in this position. You understand? Understand guys? I mean I'm trying to explain things. So feel feel free to ask me a question in these games. In the game he plays something worse. F5. Takes. And by doing this one we win material for sure. Takes, takes, takes. Rook d1. The setting him setting for him here right now is that he simply forget that the knight only get e7 square to run. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and show you something about how to converting the winning positions. Let's try, let's see if play rook d here. Let's see this move. So now if you're white. If you are white in this position, how do you want to convert this position? White to play, obviously to win. But if you are white, what do you want to do to get the easiest winning position? Let's go. Good question, Kalisley. I mean, I will trying to explain the letter. That's a good question for sure. Well, obviously, knight just is much much better. But sadly, I mean, like it's still losing. I can show you why it's still losing after this move. Well, open the diagonal seems so cool, right? But the fun thing I can tell is that, like, how can you open the diagonal? And also, like, what do you want to do here in that kind of position? Just go through first. I mean, just go through the moves and give me some, like, recommendation. I will try my best to show you, like, how to, yeah, how to, I think, make this mutas way to play. Or well, normally I'm not going to bully my subs. I mean, I want to give myself some love for sure. You can ask my subs. I never going to bully them. Never going to bully them for sure. Always, you know, want to give myself some love. Believe me, believe me. I mean, actually, right now my sub is not here, but I think you can ask them. Yes, I mean, I, I, I almost love you, bro. Okay, so I think after this game, I mean, I'm gonna go for the, yeah, I'm gonna go for the breakfast. And I think that's something to do today. I think since today we got the really special occasion with the huge red from Hikaru, I think I'm going to host the Beaver Arena as well. That's okay. I forget about that. I mean, why my friends always tell me bullying? No, no, never. I never bully you guys for sure. Let's go here. Obviously, right now we're up exchange, right? So now, first of all, we need to see like the opponent's like hanging pieces or like weakest pieces. Obviously, this nice hanging, this bishop, this pawn. I mean, this pawn is also seems to be weakened as well. I think now the best move should be this move, h4. You can also do this one as well, which is also pretty strong. Since after g6, you can see him taking him and go to this one maybe. And you see that all of the black pawn is so bad. 
He like got a lot of Pond Island, and this is not good news for him. Also, Nash 4 is an idea to treat more material. That obviously is nice. That obviously is nice. The move, this move, this move is simply dubious. Since right now, suddenly Black can take here. Suddenly Black can take here. And so, I mean, you give away the knife for nothing, right? What about knight e7 after bishop h3? Good question. I mean, like now, if you play this move, you can simply take in free pawn here, like this move. You got free pawn, right? And then, you know, when you up material, so basically, there are there are two methods to convert that into the win. First of all, is trying to attacking with that material, and second is that you can try to liquidate into winning end game. Now you can see that you cannot attack, right? I mean, you cannot attack here for sure. So why just simply try to trade for sure and go for something easier, right? Yes. Now C A seven, good question for sure. But now you can simply play same thing. I think I just like ninety four maybe. We clear the way for him to attacking the pawn d seven. Also we're trading more pieces, trading more pieces. That's the way. I think this move and this move are like the clearest way to get the winning position. Only simply you know want to exchanging more and liquidate into completely winning endgame. And also now let's try and answer the questions that you guys asked me earlier. Ninety six right. Defend this rook, but now I seem to go to every one. Let's move. This one. Also, right now, I mean, like, so you see here that it's not easy for him to defend this pawn, right? If he played, you know, rook yet, simply clicking here. And the bad thing for him right now is that this bishop is hanging, which is not a good start for sure. And if you play something like you know like knight b8 for instance, it's gonna be so so passive. We can't even think about like you know I think just e6 maybe, which is simply devastating. Devastating, you can say. So guys, I got a good question here for you. I think this is pretty nice. Take here for instance. Now we'll take the knight. Play this move first with the idea to. Attack here. So now, if I do F6, guys, answer me the question How can we win huge material at this point? Why to play? How can we simply use a small combination to win huge material at this point? This is just I want to show you, like, um, yeah, how strong the portion is and like how good is the development initiatives. Oh uh, yeah, good idea, I think. I don't know, but Queen, I mean like Queen E6 by G Lee is, I mean like, that is a super nice, super nice move, I can say. Oh my gosh. Hello. Why not row F2? I mean row F2 where? I mean row F2 here. So basically I mean this move is so so I mean you're sacrificing a whole rook. Without a clear move for sure. This one, right? I mean like simply you can take here. Then changes. And obviously here, so now you can have two different ways to win. Obviously this can be a way. I think I like this the most. Since it looks quite beautiful, right? With this move, we simply drag the queen to see it, and we're gonna frog knights. That win material for us. Sure. 
We can also play 97 for sure. This move is also crushing. Since the funny thing is that we can still trap the queen. <laughs> we can still trap the queen here, right? The queen is still dumped. And boom, win material for sure. That's all. <laughs> I mean, whatever it is, the queen is still dead. So, you know, in the game, things seem to go Christmas for me. Like this move. Okay, everyone. And as you mentioned earlier, why I think like this move? Since right now, if you play this move, I can't even, you know, try to finish things. I, th I think I can do this one, actually. Like this move for sure. For instance. And then now my plan, you know, for instance, like this move. Guys, very easy question. How can white win them a lot of material here? How can white win them a lot of material here? Yes, you see the pin here, right? You see the pin here. And then by that one, you just take this. And this you group the six And the group is simply pin on the default. The diet group is, you know, is, you know, hanging there. Obviously, by doing this, we simply win material. Surely? Sure. Obviously, this allows us to win a lot of material. That's why I love to open up the diagonal as well. And 94 is not a move. That's why I like 94 here. That's all. And in the game, he missed that. And he played king e7, which suddenly is even worse. G4. Suddenly for him now, this knight is fully dead. And in the game, you know, the final part is pretty basic. You know, he need to give away the knight. Take that, and you know, I'm trying to get the knight here. Exchanging things and trying to go for this one, this one. But basically, you know, everything is just crushing. I think the final part of the game doesn't, you know, require any, any explanation and you know like some commentary as well gg and okay hopefully you like the game and you enjoy that so any questions left i mean if you get question here i will try and give you some questions i mean give your answers i'm sorry and then i need to go for breakfast simply i'm so hungry right now i mean like in the in the morning i just eat a piece of cake and drinking coffee <clears throat> One more for sure, but I need to go for breakfast first. I mean, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Although I really love the drift from Hikaru, but I need to worry about my stomach, right? So now, I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to go soon. <laughs> but what I want to do is that I, I will. I will come back really soon. Really soon. <clears throat> so what I want to do right now is that I will go for like 15 minutes. I will let some games happening here happening here eating on stream i don't know making 2k people wait oh my goodness me i mean this is not good stuff for sure right i don't even know should i go away i think i will try to i mean come back really soon i mean i still need to go actually <laughs> time to read the chair yeah now my chair now the chair will take my channel <laughs>